I now request uh, um, uh, Jairam. Uh, so, you know, we've been having these discussions of bridging the gap and then actually having one voice of the requirement for both academic institutions and industry in creating knowledge economies. And uh, research universities are considered central to the core of knowledge economies. And then universities are like water holes. And uh, if they dry up, everything dries up. And uh, you know, one uh, aspect that I would like to request to show, uh, to throw some light on, is how can institutions like IIIT Hyderabad or any other educational institutions need to do in order to help industry, so that industry can help the academic institutions, ultimately to their own benefit. So I played with the words a little bit, but I know what you mean. <laughs> I mean, you know what I'm trying to say. would like to hear your thoughts on that, and as well as any other aspect that you would like to touch upon in building new era educational institutions. I think some of the points I was, uh, uh, I was thinking about, I think both of you covered. I think in the closing remarks, uh, Ajay talked about uh, needing our institutions to have a sectoral focus and how that could drive innovations and the an identification of problems that could be solved more deeper. And uh, the other point Ajit, I think, made is a true point, right? I think there's a lot of research that happens in different of our research institutes. But there's also, if you look at the industry, we are also solving some deep problems. And not always that uh, we know that there are some research that could be really applied. That's the, that's the other issue that we have that, that continuously plagues it. So how do you bridge this gap, right? There are what kind of mechanisms that one could come between the industry and the institutions so that, that there is a deeper understanding of both sides. One, what is the research that's going on in institutions? Is there incremental value? While there are a lot of the research in institutions could be pretty long term, that they could be focusing on blue sky kind of initiatives. But there potentially is opportunities, once we understand some of the problems that are really plaguing the industry, how could you incrementally deliver some of those research and monetize as a way or create value to the society so that that could be utilized in the, uh, in the industry. So one, uh, like one, 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 one thing which we could consider doing is for the faculty, if there are the top four or five areas that we're going to focus on, should uh, the, the faculty or the researcher part of the team take a deeper uh, immersion in that industry to understand the problems a little deeper so that uh, some of the research also could be more tuned uh, towards some very, very critical problems that are happening in that industry. That could potentially help. <laughs> Excuse me. The other side, from the industry, I think it's is around how do we build awareness from uh, uh, from what is available in the in the, uh, in, the, in, the, in, the in the in the institutions, so that 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 could help uh, bridging the gap and also potentially funding that research more deeper to solve some of the problems. I think these are the two things that come to my mind. A lot of the other points that have been covered. I also think uh, I also think like uh, how taking some of the research. I think there are some initiatives that is happening at least at Triple IT, especially with. Uh, T Hub and the CIE and the incubation that's happening, that how we are trying to monetize some of the research. And that's going to be very critical to as you go through that journey, I think you're going to learn more about how you can apply some of the research, ha research happening to, and that drives the feedback loop or to say, you know, what else we should be investing in. And that actually can spin a whole big flywheel in terms of between research and application of the research to solve some real problems and how that actually feeds back to say, you know, what do, I, what do I need to do more or what areas of research we should focus on as, as, as the, to evolve, in, evolve the institution deeper. And, and I think the other questions, I think, you know, once we do this, how do you replicate it across? So that the dream would be to say, you know, how do we make India the center for excellence for higher learning, higher research, more innovation happening from it, not just one triple idea, but I know a lot of initiatives happening. It's very heartening to see so many of the ideas that's happening. But how do we do that faster and grow this fast? 
what what can we do to accelerate this if you know this model is working well how do we make it doubly fast and 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 how do you scale this so that you know india can be a center for the destination for any any kind of uh, higher high level learning or innovation so those are my comments and i'll open it up for the discussions okay.